Powell, Federal Reserve Chairman Jay Powell wrapping up his opening remarks at a research conference in Chicago at the Fed just moments ago. Our Steve Leisman is at that conference and joins us with the highlights. Morning, Steve. Yeah, Sarah, Fed Chair, Fed Chair Jay Powell stepped out of the normal uh, idea that he was going to talk about, which was this conference about looking at Fed strategy and tools of communications to address specifically the trade issue and the possibility of greater tariffs. And he said the Fed is paying attention. I do not know how or when these issues will be resolved. We are closely monitoring the implications of these de developments for the U.S. economic outlook. And, as always, we will act as appropriate to sustain the expansion with a strong labor market and inflation near our symmetric 2% objective. He did not say what that appropriate act would be, but he went on to say that the economy is growing, unemployment is low, and inflation is stable. But the Fed takes seriously the inflation shortfall risks, and a lasting shortfall could lower inflation expectations. Not sure if the market got a bump on that. Earlier in the day, I talked to Charlie Evans about the 10-year note being quite so low, which has fallen from north of 240 uh, back uh, in, in late May to now being 212, and it was even lower uh, yesterday. And, and here's what he said about the 10-year and what it means. The U.S. is a safe haven flow. I think there's uh, increased uncertainty. I think uh, investors are responding a little bit to um, increased uncertainty uh, over the international environment. And, uh, you know, I think we just have to think about that. That doesn't necessarily mean that uh, the U.S. economy is weakening. So Evan seems more likely than others, perhaps, to cut uh, rates in order to address the possibility of an inflation shortfall, though he said policy right now is in a good place. And we'll get a feel for how a Vice Chairman Richard Clarida uh, feels about that issue when we interview him later today at 1.15 Eastern Time on the Exchange, Sarah. Hey, Steve, I was just uh, commenting a moment ago, there seems to be a uh, menu of opinions for investors to take in terms of rate cut assurance from the Fed, whether it's Bullard. Uh, to a lesser degree, Evans, and obviously to an even lesser, lesser degree, Powell now. Uh, who do we listen to besides the chair? I think you all, you know, when there's co conflicting um, uh, opinions out there, you listen to the chair. But I'm not sure everybody's conflicting. I think what there is is they're in the center, but I think they're leaning towards at least one cut. Now, I think the market is very aggressively priced. If you look at those probabilities, Carl, uh, we're talking about a 50 percent probability priced into the market for a rate cut in July, sorry, 51%. And then the, uh, you know, ivory so pure uh, towards the end of the year, 99.9% sure almost of a rate cut by the end of 2019. And by the way, two rate cuts are actually built into those numbers there. Uh, so th that's very aggressive for what I'm hearing from the Fed. But certainly if the inflation shortfall persists, if trade is seen as a negative for growth, I think this Federal Reserve will cut, but maybe not quite as soon as the market's expecting. Steve, did, did Powell drop transitory, which the market got annoyed with when he used that word? Right. So that's <laughs> always count on Sarah for a great one. So I, I, I noticed the lack of transitory, but I also will notice that he's not really addressing the current issue of the inflation shortfall. He's talking, Sarah, if you read the speech, mm -hmm. about the theoretical yeah. uh, shortfall. He, said, he also called inflation stable. So I think you are 100 percent accurate to note the absence of that word. I would just wonder whether or not there's any it's, it's meaningful that it's not there yeah. this time around. But stay you tuned. Should, you should right find to him, watch corner it. him and ask him. <laughs>